Today we are going to learn how to use the motorized miter box, also known as the chop saw. This is the fourth machine in the squaring process. First we use the radial arm saw to rough cross cut our wood to a rough length. Then we jointed one edge so that that edge was square and at right angles to our face. Then we came over to the table saw and we put that good edge up against the fence and then we ripped the opposite edge so that we have nice parallel lines and a square piece of wood from edge to edge. Now we need to go through and to square our material on the ends. A few things to know about the motorized miter box is, is when holding the material gravity is going to keep it down on the table you need to make sure that you hold it nice and firm up against the fence. The other thing that you'll notice is, is there is a milled line cut right here on both sides and the operator wants to make sure that they have their hands on the outside of that line holding it up against the fence when they are cutting their material. The next is the handle and the on off switch. The on off switch is right here. You are going to take it, pull the switch, you would then let the machine get up to full speed, make your cut, leave the blade in the down position, letting go of the trigger until the blade comes to a dead stop before letting it come back up. When we trim that first end, all we want is to have a piece of wood trimmed that is roughly the same width as our blade. So here we go. Again, leave the machine down until the blade comes to a complete dead stop, then let it come back up. Now, with your pencil, just like we have marked the edges for our good edge when we are done on the joiner, now we want to have a mark showing that this is our trimmed end, or you can even put an X to signify this is the end that was trimmed. The next thing that you want to do is, is now rotate the piece of wood and you can either use your measuring gauge and set it up at a particular measurement to make, sure, make your next cut. And what you can do is, is set it up at 16 inches is what I'm going to cut it to. Hold it firmly up against my stop. Keep my hand on the outside of that milled line for safety. And then now make my cut again. <laughs> When you are all done using the chop saw, you will not only have trimmed this end so it's square, but you will have cut your opposite end to a particular length in which you want your pieces of wood. And that will complete the scoring process. Thank you.